Twitch is a platform built on gaming. <gasps> Doris! Dory. But it's home to more, much more. Ooh. Oh, that's... Now, remember, she, she wanted it crisp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give it a try. Ooh, this got... <laughs> and now, the biggest streamer on Twitch isn't known primarily for playing video games at all, although he does sometimes try. Who was that the was killer? Who was the killer? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, it was so Moxie! Yeah. Is that why? Is that why I met Moxie for three f rounds? Hassan Piker, also known by his channel name Hasanabi, has changed Twitch forever. Because in 2020, the streamer with the most subs is political. No, there is no tolerance to the intolerant mother. If you expected me to be one of these like, I need to do civility, oh no. Like if you thought I was gonna be one of those people, well, guess what? I'm not, bitch. I'm here to f make fun of Republicans, dude, all day, every goddamn day. And politics isn't a side effect of some other career. It's the main draw. It's why hundreds of thousands of people tuned in to watch him on election night. We are going to find out who's going to be the president. Who, who out of the two geriatric assholes is going to lead this country to our inevitable demise? And whether you agree with his own political views or not, it sure looks like the future of Twitch isn't just about games. Real Americans don't celebrate losers! Pack your bags, bucko! You lost! It's also about government. Hassan Piker was born in the state of New Jersey, but spent much of his childhood in Istanbul, the capital of Turkey. Even so, as he told the H3 podcast, he was obsessed with the country where he was born. I, I read English books when I was growing up. I was like, I was a weeb for America, okay? I was an <laughs> America boo. <laughs> like, that's part of the reason why it was so easy for me to assimilate to the culture here uh -huh. uh, in the past 10 years that I've been here, 11 years that I've been here now because I was just always obsessed with American culture. Hassan returned to the United States and attended Miami University before transferring to Rutgers and eventually graduating cum laude with a dual major in political science and communications. And while he was still there, he interned at his uncle Cenk Uger's workplace, the Young Turks. What's going on guys? This is a Bitsy or a BTS or behind the scenes with Hassan Piker, AKA Woke Bay. The YouTube show was known for progressive news and opinions, but when Hassan started there, he wasn't in front of the camera. Eventually though, he convinced them to let him try his hand at hosting his own segment as part of TYT's The Breakdown. The format was simple. Hassan got in front of the camera and talked about his views on political issues but it eventually became a bit more adversarial, with Hassan criticizing popular figures on the right. Better watch out, Tanya. You got fired in a blaze of shame from the last place after pulling the same shit. Uh-oh, have I already offended you? You gotta admire someone who builds an entire career around getting offended and then going, hold on, hold on, I gotta go record this. It's like you've built this reactionary, riffraff style character and now you're just stuck with this shtick and before you know it, you're gonna be looking like you're Kellyanne Conway at the age of 35 and your career will still be rehashing old racist conservative tropes. And as he confronted issues, he was getting noticed, earning the moniker Woke Bay? Coming down the carpet is somebody that Instagram goes crazy over. His name is Woke Bay. First of all, uh, thank you for uh, appreciating the latest fits I've been throwing of out course. on Instagram You've because every time people make fun of me, I'm like, I got the queer eye approval, bitch. <laughs> Shut up. The other thing I was going to call you was a brogressive. Is that offensive? I don't know. I don't really mind it. Obviously, I am a bro. He's a Turkish god. Okay, somebody clip me. Hassan, I want to be your friend. Hang out. Hassan's really cute. Okay, so I guess my first would be Hassan. <laughs> Hassan spent several years with the Young Turks, but his own personal popularity was growing. He was a progressive public figure, but unlike many of the other hosts and contributors on TYT, he was young and relatively unfiltered. 
some weird reason in America it's so much easier to regulate women's choice than it is to regulate guns. I'm like looking around to see if I've jerked off to anyone, and I, I really haven't. Except for you, actually. I have seen, I, I, I've seen one of your porns. In hindsight, it's unsurprising that Hassan would end up taking his talents to Twitch, but at first he mostly just played video games. And honestly, his takes were sometimes more compelling than the gameplay. Oh shit! Oh no! What the What about the difference in opinion, boys? What about the difference in your opinion, boys? <laughs> Bitch! In early 2018, when Hassan made the jump, many other content creators were already deep diving into political content. Chief among them was Stephen Destiny Bennell, a StarCraft pro turned Twitch personality. So I'm Destiny, and I try to make sure that when we talk about breaking news, we're not rattling off some dumbass bullshit that we have no idea what we're talking about. That's what I'm what, doing. What Destiny, what is this? Hey, and what I'm, is... I'm Nina, and I go through nice life not being a white piece of shit. Nice to meet you, Destiny. Don't ever f***ing address me like that again. When I got into debating like two years ago, my goal was just to like explore those arguments because it's really fun for me. And I saw that online, there were a lot of people that claimed to have good arguments that were making very bad arguments. And the first time they talked, things between Hassan and Destiny started off pretty well. For those of you who are on my side of the stream, Destiny's awesome. Uh, a couple of the, it was like some of my moderators, including Space, and also some of the fans like Ragbang were telling me that I should link up with this guy. And then I started watching his videos and they're, they're excellent. I really like uh, what he's about. So I'm excited and I hope you guys get to know him a little bit better and you can enjoy his videos as well. Although it didn't stay that way for long. Can you okay not answer this question? Privately? I said in yeah. certain contexts, it could be okay to What do you mean by privately? certain context? Not like you're reading it out of a dictionary, like but in the for, context okay. of an offensive right. joke. I wasn't going to do this, but like, um, I didn't really read the uh, logs that got leaked or whatever, but I have seen you say the N-word on the internet before. In the context that you use the N-word when you're calling someone an R-worded, uh, little F-worded N-word, that, mm -hmm. is not an in that is not an appropriate okay, so context. We've, because so, that context okay, so, makes you look yeah. like a terrible person. What about a male that's significantly smaller than me? Yeah, I already I already mentioned that. I wouldn't hurt I wouldn't hit a person who's significantly if Destiny attacked me. If Destiny attacked me, no gun, just like straight up physical altercation. He tried to attack me, I probably wouldn't hit him back. And thankfully, that relationship, as dysfunctional as it might be, gave us one of the best Hassan moments. I'm not going to talk to a black person like Trihex and say, hey, the N-word, it's always the you think black people what a f***ing liar dude what a f***ing weasley little liar dude what a f***ing weasley little liar dude holy shit dude Excuse me. holy f***ing shit dude I apologize for that. literally lying still lying to his audience can someone at least enlighten destiny that he's literally lying to his audience but that first Destiny debate and everything that followed was part of Hassan's ascent. He might have started with Fortnite, but the politics streams were setting him apart. Even so, he was still working at the Young Turks and even launched a new series in August 2019. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Hassan Piker, the prodigal son. Uh, this is my show called Agitprop, short for Agitated Propaganda. As Hassan's popularity continued to grow, he began to routinely face opposition just for being a political figure. And in August 2019, he did something that brought him even further criticism. America deserved 9-11, dude. F it, I'm saying it. We're there to partner with them. We're not there doing our own thing. We're there partnering and training. In a video and, and game. And, and I'm, I can't do this. I can't do this. This guy has the understanding of foreign policy uh, of like a 12-year-old. What the f what the f is wrong with this dude? Didn't he go to war and like literally lose his eye because some Mujahideen, a brave f***ing soldier, f***ed his eye hole with their dick? Uh, well, wow, he was triggered, wasn't he? I mean, that is the definition of a leftist getting triggered. And man, that, that is exactly the outrage culture that we have right now. He is a perfect example of it. Um, you know, he's trying to walk his comments back now. You know, good on him for trying to do that. I know uh, that I was, I know you... that I was inappropriate. I understand that, which is precisely why I took action immediately. As soon as I realized like, oh, this is going to be misconstrued. I don't want this to be weaponized. I don't want this to be, uh, I don't want this to offend people. If you mm -hmm. watch the entire video, I go, 
fuck it, dude. I'm saying it. Yeah. And then I, I'm like, how is anything I'm saying controversial? We literally armed the same groups and and caused destabilization in the region. <laughs> and then we're shocked when the very same people that we armed gave weapons to, gave training to, turned around and hit us back. Like, how is that in any yeah, way remotely think, controversial? Mm -hmm. Hassan was banned from Twitch for a week as a result of his comments, but he continued to stream after serving the ban. In fact, in January 2020, he decided to cut ties with the Young Turks and fully commit to streaming. And it was maybe the best move he'd ever made. Just keep running straight, Poke. No! 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 Stoppages. You. Since Hassan started streaming, the United States had experienced political turmoil, but it really kicked into high gear in an election year. I'm not going to lose my mind if Donald Trump wins, especially when I've been ringing the alarm bells for months. I will not be happy until Joe Biden is sworn in or whoever the Democrat is, is sworn in. Fucking finished, dude. Trump? Orange? You orange dictator, you fucking Cheeto, you're fucking finished, dude. Fuck. As the COVID-19 pandemic kept many indoors, they sought out streaming entertainment in greater numbers. In the span of two years, a political commentator had not only made the move to Twitch, but he'd now become one of the platform's fastest rising stars. And he was beginning to rub elbows with some of the most popular names in the gaming space. No, check so this out. Check this out. Come closer. Okay, this feels weird. Wait. As now watch me. Oh, dude. Holy ah, that hurt me, dude. <laughs> Where am I done? Now I can play with Misty, right? Hello. Hey, what's up, dude? Discord. What's going on, guys? I, I just want to warn you. I've only played one game so far, and. Like, I I've already gotten scouted by FaZe and 100 Thieves. I'm kind of good. Dude, I'm just impressed you know what those two things are. I thought you just knew d Democrats and Republicans. I'm a full grown male, and I always do my business sitting down. I don't give a shirt. Sure. What? You I, pee sitting down? You pee yep. sitting down? Uh, you wait, really? That's, That's a wild, <laughs> That's a wild thing to do. But more than playing with other huge streamers, the election and the surge in demand for political content gave him opportunities. What? Oh my God, everyone blast this tweet, please. Okay, that's crazy, that's crazy, that's crazy. That's, we have to make this happen. We have to make this happen. But that would be incredible, that'd be awesome. And so, in October 2020, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ilhan Omar played Among Us with some of the biggest names in progressive political content on Twitch and YouTube, and foremost among them was Hassan. You know, big shout out to Hassan because he was uh, just a huge, you know, he helped really wrangle all of this together. Oh no. Oh no, this is terrible. 10 seconds to vote. Okay, I'm gonna vote. Oh God, I'm voting Ilhan, but I don't know. Make sure you vote. Oh no. I think it was Ilhan. The way she was like, where were you? We're about to find out if I threw or not. While AOC's stream, also her first, was the biggest, it was a huge cross-pollination that undoubtedly helped new followers find Hassan. And then, on election night, Hassan had his biggest stream ever. A peak of 230,000 viewers watched him as he sorted through the election results. I'd be yelling about all this shit regardless of whether or not you guys were in here or not. I would be just yelling into a dark room. Be yelling it at 35 people. If no one else was watching. But, um, you know, I just wanted to express my gratitude. And I know things look tough right now. But, um, we still got each other. It was a far cry from his first stream, 
where just a handful of viewers watched him play Fortnite. But since then, Hassan has grown to become the most sub to streamer on the platform, and he's been using that position for good, joining another AOC stream that also featured Canadian Member of Parliament Jugmeet Singh, which raised $200,000 to fight housing and food insecurity. I no, feel go, bad. Go, go myth on this one. Oh, I don't think it's him, though. It was just a joke. It was just a joke. <laughs> yeah. That was a great oh, joke. That's and there's the punchline. <laughs> Gone wrong. I can't believe they just, I just, I can't believe they just yeeted him. Oh my God, Jugmeet is too good. Whether you agree with his political opinions or not, Hassan has shown that there's an appetite for more on Twitch. And he rode that wave to the very top of the platform. Oh, look at me. I'm from Denmark. We have free hospitalization and corona checks at every hospital. F you, huh? F you, man. I'm fucking dying out here trying to get Medicare for all passed. God damn it, dude. With more potential political uncertainty ahead, it's likely that Twitch will have to carefully grapple with an even bigger influx of streamers trying to make it the Hassan way offering contentious opinions on more than just the latest trending games. Obama's talking about changing systemic policy issues except saying that accountability is worthless. Did I just say accountability, mother -er? I just criticized Obama's specific policy issue and gave you actual policy ideas that would be easy to fucking implement, you fucking dog shit neoliberal bitch. And as for Hassan's opponents, well, until a challenger emerges, they're just gonna have to learn to live with them. Um, well, I'm a political commentator, so I normally talk about politics, but sometimes I have a uh, variety of incels that come into the stream, so I give them advice every now and then that you guys can give them as well, like girl advice. You're an incel. I'm an incel myself, so. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.